Yeah, oh, you do. <laughs> so it was easy. And you weren't even getting the part. At least in some of the electronics, you're, you're getting the part that functions. It just is not the pedigree that you thought it was. Denny? Yes. As this has come about more and more in the last several years, especially, I, I, I haven't seen any discussions in the, in the quality press about the original manufacturer providing parts to a, a user through a manufacturer certified supplier. Right. I, what we used to, in, in, in purchasing, used to think of as third party and scrap suppliers, basically, seem to be the primary source of parts now. Well, all right, we'll get into that in a little bit, Doug, but yes, that's, that's part of the problem. And the, the DOD and the DOE and the aerospace industry is actually causing this problem because of the practices for, that they do for doing business. And I'll get into that a little bit later. And, and all of those uh, component engineers we were t talking about, we told them to go away. We didn't need them anymore. Right. Right. We, we them them. Them. <laughs> We said we don't need them anymore. I used to be one of those. <clears throat> Me too. I was in quality. <laughs> I used to work with them. Yeah. And you get look. At, uh, they talk about acetone swipes. So, like I say, everything that you can see is extremely, extremely subtle. And you got to be able to understand what you're what you're looking at when you're when you're looking at these parts because it's missing serial number. Depending if it's a space part, they're usually serialized. If it's a defense part, it may or may not be serialized. And here you can see the blacktop is peeling away. This is a good example of a of blacktop peeling away. Uh, die marking. We had a situation at Honeywell. We had a part. It actually, it actually failed at failed at test, which was rather convenient because it turned out it was a counterfeit part. But that's not why it failed at test. We went in and we we looked in this part. The original designer was a company called Silicon General. Silicon General got bought out by Allegro Micro Semi, who got bought out by Linfinity, who got bought out by Micro Semiconductor. Mm -hmm. So that's part of the trace you got to go through when you're when you're looking into these things. You got to go back in history and find out what was going on back at the time that part was supposedly manufactured. Well, when Silicon General built did their die. They, right in the middle of their die, had a general in there. And every die mask that they ever made had that general in there. None of the die that we looked at had that general in there. So what does that tell you? Counterfeit part. It's not from that manufacturer. Because when <coughs> Allegro Microsystems bought Silicon General, and Linfinity bought Allegra, and Micro Semi bought uh, Linfinity, they didn't change the die. You don't go back and change that stuff. That's a high capital investment. When Intel builds a mask for a part, it stays until it is actually broken or lost. How are these other companies that, that take over other companies continuing to sell to the government without the the newly assigned preferred supplier number. That, that, that happens. There are, there are no more preferred supplier numbers. <laughs> there aren't? No, sir. They're illegal. Well, there is a, there, there, you still have a mill performance spec that you, you, can, mill that spec. you can buy to, and it does have a qualified parts list. But when this one was, when this was happening, all they had to do, all the manufacturer had to do when they bought out the other company is keep the standard progression of the qualification process going. So it, they never broke it. There was a few, there's a, some transfer things that they had to do, some first time stuff, because they never really changed the production line. They just bought the company, the building, 
the equipment and everything. It stayed, everything stayed where it was. They just changed the name. But, but was the sign. DOD sending in source inspectors occasionally? Yeah. They have surveillance. But mm -hmm. the thing is, it's not the OEMs that's doing the counterfeit, or the OCMs, the original component yeah. manufacturer. They're not the ones doing the counterfeiting. Right. So this was an example of uh, looking at the dye marking. That's another thing that you can look at. But again, it takes an experienced component engineer to be able to go in and analyze that and look at that and say, oh yeah, that doesn't look right. I'm sorry, am I blocking you guys? And again, that's, what am I going backwards? There we go. No gold on leads. That's another another sign because most most uh, components come with gold leads. The only time they get this way is if somebody somebody dips them or they've already been soldered on a board and you want to hide it. So they change the lead finish. The, the, the part marking looks a little different. You get, you can, you can see this marking doesn't match. This marking, there's more information on here than was on this one, which probably means that this part here started out as this, and then they added this stuff in there so they could sell it as a military part. The circles not round. And the sort, yeah. So there's all kinds of little differences in there that you need to look for. You're almost making it sound like these counterfeit suppliers do not have specification documents. <coughs> they don't. <laughs> and prints to look at. But they could care less. No, that's not really true. What they have is that is if you don't make it an exact copy, that most of the world's copyright. Um, infringements, which is covered under this, if it's not exactly the same, you're clear and free, so you make a, a little almost like a cartographer's error. Yeah. They, and part of the other thing is they, they do have the specs, but a lot of times you can't buy the exact uh, duplicate because it's proprietary yeah. to, to this company that makes it. So you may not be able to buy it. So you're going to get it as close as you can, but you won't get it perfect. Because you can't buy that one because it's a copyrighted symbol. In other words, they're not paying as much attention to the approved, that big, thick series of manuals that had all the parts of yeah. what's approved. Doug? That, that manual was outlawed. Do you see oh this? God. If I would have told you what the differences were, would you have been able to identify that?